Well, hello, my fellow gamers, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Creative Katie, aka Katie, and welcome to my channel. And welcome to another tour of my October Island Tour Special. I'm so excited that you're here. So for you that don't know, for the month of October, we'll be exploring islands that either have a fall or Halloween theme to kick off the autumn season and just kind of get you guys in the mood for fall and Halloween as a whole. I hope you guys find inspiration as we tour these amazing islands. And for today's tour, we're actually going to be visiting a friend of mine's island called Dimwald. Dimwald was created by Matilda. She is a fabulous creator. Uh, every single one of her islands that I've visited, which we have visited a few of hers in the past, every single one of them has been a treat, guys. Like It has been an amazing experience through and through, so I am sure this is going to be the same with this island. Uh, I do know some a little bit of insider about this island because Matilda and I have talked about it quite uh, extensively. Uh, she never like told me what exactly was going to be on it, but she did tell me that it's kind of a uh, spooky, dark, fairy, um, mythical uh, type island. And... Um, I do know that this one really tested her. She is uh, a pro when it comes to doing more of like city core or town core or things like that, things that are a little bit more structured. This island is a very natural inspired, uh, nat natural inspired island. And she uh, said this one really challenged her, but I feel like this also helped her grow as well because it just really... It, it's a different way of doing things, and uh, I'm sure it will be fantastic to explore. I'm excited to check it out. She just released this uh, dream address, I think, within the last week or two. I've seen some amazing pictures, and I am super excited, you guys. But if you guys wish to check out this island yourself or see those amazing pictures of Dimwald, you can check that all out in the video description below. And if you would like to show your support for these tours, make sure you do that by clicking the like and subscribe button so that way you can be alerted when new content is added. And guys, I love reading your comments. So if you find anything that makes you happy, inspirational, anything that just kind of give you a fun uh, experience while exploring this island with me, leave a comment below. I love reading them. I know that I've gotten some feedback from some of the island creators. They love um, they love seeing your comments. So share your uh Share your inspiration and your happy thoughts as we go through this. But let's go ahead and check out Dimwald. Uh, first, we'll check out the map. Oh, my goodness. So I know this is going to be fantastic. Look at this terraforming. Look at this waterscaping. I am excited to see how this all turns out. This looks absolutely incredible. So she did tell me that there is going to be a part of the island that we are not going to be able to uh, access. And that's because she set it up for her daughter to be able to create and do what she wanted with. So that's going to be in the upper right corner that we see there. But we're still going to be able to view it a little bit. Uh, but don't be alarmed if we don't actually get over there to check it out. So as far as... so. As you can see, we've got two residents here, but as far as villagers, we have Diva, Nan, Agnes, Zell, Mallory. <laughs> I think that's Mallory. Uh, that's a new one. I haven't seen her before. That's that's incredible. It, you know, I understand that there's over 400 villagers here in Animal Crossing, and it and we've done I don't know how many island tours, and it, it always excites me whenever I see a villager that I've never seen before. And Mallory here is a new one for me, so I'm excited. And then we have Cherry, Punchy, Sid, yeah, Sid, Kiki, and Pecan. Oh my goodness, such an amazing villager lineup. I am a fan of Cherry. I've had her on my island in the past, and I've also had Punchy. And when he moved out the first time I started playing, I was actually super sad. And I thought initially when you started playing that you had to let them move on 
Um, even though it said, no, don't go or yes, stay or whatever. Um, even though it said both of those options, I thought that's what you had to do is let them move on. So when I found out that you're like, oh no, you can actually, cause I thought that built the relationship kind of thing. And, um, they're like, no, you can make them stay. And I was like, oh, <laughs> so, a little tad bit there, but I am super excited about this villager lineup. I cannot wait to see how they are incorporated. I do know that the the houses are decorated, guys. I am so excited. And um, she and I talked a little bit about the houses as well. I can't wait to see what she's done because she asked me some questions about them and wanted my input on them. And I am so excited to see what she has done. She has not given me any hints. She wanted me to really experience this island. And I am so thankful that she's done that because I don't know. I really don't know what to expect except for the pictures that I've seen and the conversations that we've had. And I'm excited. I'm thrilled. So let's go ahead and start touring you guys. Oh, I just remembered. So she does have some items right outside of residential services. I'll show you where they are. But it looks like we have some shoes, a lantern, a hat, mage robes, and... Okay. Love it. The mage robes. I'm gonna keep my wings. I, I think they're super fun, but <laughs> but yes, oh my goodness. So we are a mage going to explore this island. I am excited. And guys, if you want to know how talented Matilda is, a lot of her coats she makes herself. I don't know which one specifically. I think if you go into uh, the kiosk, that'll show you exactly what code she makes. But I know for a fact this flag she created. She makes every single one of her flags. And um, a lot of the codes that she's not able to find while searching, she then makes herself. Like if she needs something specific, she makes it herself. She is super, super talented. So let's start exploring, you guys. I am excited. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This entrance is, it's amazing. Like you just step off the airport and you are instantly transported into this uh, mythical world here. I mean, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible here, guys. I love how everything is just overgrown. Oh, there she is back there. Hello. Um, but yeah, I love how everything is overgrown. I love that. <laughs> I'll leave that one for you, Matilda. <laughs> um, I just love how everything is just, it really makes it feel like we are walking through the woods right now. This is super exciting. So I'm going to first show you where residential services are. We will circle back. Um, I know there's a staircase back there. But I just want to show you where residential services is so you know where to pick up your outfits. Well, hello, dearie. Oh my gosh, that dress is awesome. Big dreams can create magic. Aww. This is absolutely incredible. All right, come on through. Excuse me. Matilda, you're not exactly making this easy. <laughs> but yes, here is residential services, guys, where you would wake up. Oh, we don't have a kiosk. Oh, no. Wait, the kiosk comes when, when you share the codes, right? I cannot remember, so... I cannot remember. It's been a really long time since I've uploaded anything for codes and, and outfits and anything like that but but right here is where you're gonna find the outfit that I'm currently wearing so when you wake up this is the, pretty much the first thing you find this is absolutely incredible. it's a wishing well oh my goodness I love that I used to have a wishing well on a very very old island of mine and sadly, it's not 
been something that fits with the themes that I'm doing right now. Which is okay, but I hope to return to it someday. Someday. I love wishing wells. I think they're so, so cute. Ooh, look at this, you guys. Oh, this is so cool. Instead of using your actual, like, built-in rocks, she's using the floating rocks here. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. I love it so much. I love the combination of the ruined items as well. It, it gives it a ancient feel, makes it feel like this has been here for a very, very long time. Like somebody came in and they're like, oh, we're going to try to make a civilization out of this, this area, and nature's like, nope. <laughs> Um, if I remember correctly, the beaches are blocked off. If I remember, I think they are. Which is a-okay. Oh my goodness. This is just incredible, you guys. Look at this. This little sitting area is so adorable. Oh my gosh. This definitely has the dark tones and the fact that it's like a stormy day and things like that is just incredible. Oh, could you guys imagine what this would look like if it had a little bit of fog on it? Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, look at... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry. Stop. Matilda. She said, she told me that um, the area where her daughter is able to build looks like a castle. Like there's a castle in the distance. Yeah, when you told me, Matilda, that it was going to be a castle, you never said anything about it being this freaking good. Holy cow, that looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Like... That is just too good. Now guys, when I say that Matilda is talented, here's your proof. Right here. Absolute proof that she is an incredible creator because that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, look at how much detail she put into the whole thing. She could have just put a building and called it good. No. She put trees in there. She put rock formations to make it look like it is actually part of the land. This is amazing. I am just blown away by this. This is absolutely incredible. So, Matilda, you're designing my next island. Because this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, I love the gyroids. Hello, buddy! Oh my gosh, those are so funny. Okay, the, the big bug, though. Not, not a fan. <laughs> I am learning more and more about myself sometimes where... Like, I don't... I don't like bugs. I don't. If they're behind a glass, fantastic. But nope. I'm good. It's a little bakery. So cute. Gosh, I love this. Here is the Abel sisters. I do love how she built up the bamboo and then cut it down like that. That is awesome. This is so good. 
So good. Okay, so we'll go this way. I just love the combination of everything here, like the the trees, the the vines, the dead trees. There's a pumpkin. Love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just super magical. Okay, so this is one of the villager homes. Oh, look at this little, little garden here. I love it. Oh my gosh. Anybody want to bob for apples up there too? This is awesome. I love how she packs in so much into a little area and it just, it doesn't feel overwhelming. It feels complete. Like, I don't know how she does it. She's, she's just incredible. <gasps> this is Punchy's... Stop. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tilda, this is fantastic. Love this so much. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. You know, Matilda, if you ever decide to do like, a live stream of you building your island, I would be watching it every single time because I would be very curious to see how you organize everything, how you lay things down, like your whole process. Because obviously we don't see the building process at all we we see the finished end product but it's like i would love to see your process so if you ever decide to have a youtube channel and do that i would probably be one of your first subscribers <laughs> this, this is incredible here is the resident home i'm excited to check this out Another fun thing of Matilda, you never know what to expect. <gasps> As I say. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. I'm just speechless right now, you guys. This is fantastic. <clears throat> Sorry. My uh, voice was cutting out a little bit there. But this is just incredible. I feel like I need to whisper too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I haven't had any water yet today, so my voice is a little dry. <gasps> Look at this. Stop. Okay, I want this. I really freaking want this in my house. I am not kidding. This is awesome. Like what? Yes, I am taking pictures, girl. Whether you like it or not because this is incredible. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know how you do it, girl. This is fabulous. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm blown away. I, Matilda, how? Where do you come up with these ideas? It's... It's not fair. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's a nice little attic area. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is awesome. This attic is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Matilda? I am blown away by your house. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And guys, this is a friendly reminder that you are taking care of yourself, both mentally and physically, and drinking plenty of water. All right, so let's head, let's continue exploring here. That was a treat, guys. I... I pulled so much inspiration from that house. Like, I really want to build something like that now. Just incredible. Maybe I can make that work with my next theme. Especially that kitchen. That kitchen would probably work very well with my next theme. Or something similar to it. At least the structure of it. Um... Matilda, you are at the front of the island. What the heck are you doing here? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Hello again. Look at the mine. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. The gold mine is incredible. You got the moon way back there. That is awesome. And I love the stone path, too. Oh, this is so cute! It's the campsite for the mine workers. Blah, blah, blah. Mine workers. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Oh, this is awesome! goodness. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> no! This villager is not supposed to be gone! How dare they? Matilda, you better take pictures of your villager homes and post them online. Because I want to see them all. They are phenomenal. <gasps> what is this? What is this? Is this supposed to be like a, a black wedding? A spooky wedding area or a ceremony of some kind? This is awesome. Mm. 
You know, Matilda, I think you've been fibbing me this entire time. Saying you were struggling with the... the nature core. Yeah. This is remarkable. Struggling my butt. <laughs> another villager's home. Haha. -ha. Okay, we will come back to him in a second. I want to keep exploring here. Yeah. Okay, we will come back and explore. <laughs> Gosh, the chair just get me. Stop. Whoa! Sorry, guys. <laughs> Push the button. Oh my gosh. I'm speechless. This is phenomenal. This is a picture that I've seen on Matilda's Instagram and. I'm sorry, the picture just doesn't do it doesn't do it justice. This looks incredible. Absolutely remarkable. <laughs> it's so amazing, you guys. Matilda. Oh my gosh. I am just blown away. Yes, another villager's home. Oh, hello, Cherry. Hello, my dear. Sorry, we're uh, gonna sneak past you and go check out this house. <laughs> Amazing. Just, that, that fairy grove was incredible. <gasps> oh, this is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness sorry that I'm pushing you dear but I want to get a better look at everything oh this is incredible absolutely incredible Phenomenal. Matilda. Fantastic. We lost Cherry. <laughs> I love the moss items so much. They are just super, super fun. Villager home. All right, Matilda. I'm shaking my head right now because this is incredible. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Like, what? This is... What? <laughs> this is awesome! I love this so much. Matilda, you are a pro. 
you are incredible. And you are a master creator. That was fabulous. Oh, hello! <laughs> Okay, so we've got a ladder here. I believe this leads us to the museum. Oh, look at the uh, spooky owls. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. Don't worry, guys. I will run through the... the wheat fields. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, so, so amazing. And just to satisfy you guys. <laughs> I'm sure I have missed some wheat fields along the way. But I have just been blown away by this island. Just absolutely blown away. Alright, can we get through here? It's hard to do it when it's just one! <laughs> and there's no room! Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this little feast! All of that looks so yummy. And this little house here too. Oh my gosh. So adorable. Alright, guys, I'm hungry. This is just awesome. Alright, yes, another villager's home! Oh, this is so cute! Whoa, it's you! <laughs> That's a very interesting greeting. You know, I kind of get the vibe that he's uh, Blather's assistant, maybe. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Absolutely incredible. I love it! But yeah, it gives me the impression that this is, uh, that Sid's Blather's assistant or something. At least that's the vibe I got. What do you guys think? Okay. This is the first time I'm noticing this. The little mushroom circles underneath the signs, that is just too cute. Well, hello, my dear. Oh, this is so cool. I don't think if you hit it, the sword does anything. That's awesome. I don't know how you do this, Matilda. This is incredible. Just the way everything flows, how it's all organized, it's... it's amazing! 
absolutely amazing. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love the... We've got little, like, drafts coming in. Oh, it makes it look like there's a cold breeze coming in here. That is fantastic! I love this so much. This is so cute. So cute. Definitely gives the eerie feeling. 100%. <laughs> what? Where'd you come from? Matilda, are you stalking me? I think you are. This just circles around back to the uh, the altar there. Oh, that is awesome! That's fantastic. Okay, let me check. See which way I'm supposed to be going here. Okay, so we'll go down first, finish checking out all of that, and then circle back up and around to ensure that we. Don't miss anything. I have a feeling we're going to have a little bit of overlap between areas, which, which is okay, because then that gives us an opportunity to see new things that we might have missed the first time we walked through. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Look at this. This is incredible! Oh, this is just fabulous. Oh, this brings us out onto the beach! Awesome! <sighs> okay, this is feeling very magical. <laughs> but these lanterns sitting here just gives it this very magical feeling. Awesome! So this brings us to Nook's Cranny, which gives off the vibe of an abandoned castle. Some ruins, and that is awesome. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. I don't think we can head up that way. No, we cannot. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Fan-fantastic. Sucker for diagonal bridges, guys. A little art area! Oh, that is so cute! I love it! I love how tiny this bridge looks. Oh, I love it so much. Homes. 
super sad that they're, the villagers are out, but oh my gosh. These are awesome. And I believe if we would look if you would go like straight down, that would take us to uh, the airport. Just to kind of give you guys an idea and perspective of where where we are at on the island. Gosh, I really love that that mushroom circle underneath underneath the signs there. That is just too adorable. So, if you guys aren't following Matilda, or don't know anything about her at all, one of the things she is known for is creating a post office on her island somewhere. And having that link to the theme that she is currently, uh, currently doing. So every single one of her islands has a post office. That is her signature right there, is the post office. And I love how this one turned out. I have seen her do actual, like, post office buildings. I've heard, seen her do, like, little stalls. Like, the range of what she's done for this look, or for this particular build, is just it's incredible like she has done so many different things and i love that she took this theme and made it work or took this uh post office and made it work for this theme cherry you're not exactly making it easy to do a video here <laughs> but i love how this matches so well this is incredible matilda kudos to you let me see if I can find it. There we go. Kudos to you. You are just popping up everywhere, girl. Okay, so that's that house, which we've already been in. been this way. Yes, we have. I remember the pumpkin. Oh my goodness. This. I think we have seen everything. Yes, we have seen everything, you guys. This has been an incredible adventure. I have had so much fun. I hope you guys have as well. Hang on. I'm going to get back to where I need to be. Okay. I was going the right way, but this has been amazing. Matilda, thank you so much for requesting a tour for me. I absolutely love your islands. They are breathtaking incredible like I I can't use enough descriptive words to describe your islands like they are just so amazing you take a theme and you just go with it like there is no holding back with you so thank you so much for allowing us to come and tour your island you guys watching at home thank you for coming along on this ride what was your favorite part? This right here is mine. This view, wow. As I was saying, this view is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. There were so many amazing views on this island, but this one in particular just blew me away. I also really loved Matilda's house. The way she made those rooms, 
Like, I had never seen anybody do that before, especially that basement room. That was absolutely incredible. Mind-blowing on what you guys can do. Like, your imagination is your only limitation on these islands. Like, you can do so many incredible things. Do not limit yourself. And the other thing, too, is, you know, what you're doing and what another creator is doing will be different. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly like somebody else's. It can be inspired by somebody else's, but with your spin on it. And that's what makes these island tours so incredible, so unique, and so much fun is because you could have a castle build or a castle view just like this on five different islands, but every single one is going to be different because every single person is going to do it their own way. And this is just amazing. And that's what I absolutely love about this game. But this is my favorite area. Leave a comment down below of what area was your favorite or what inspired you, what you loved about it. We would love to hear from you. So leave a comment down below. But this has been an amazing, amazing adventure. I am so excited to be sharing these amazing fall and Halloween islands with you during this October tour special. So be sure to show your support by clicking that like and subscribe button. And if uh, you decide that you would like to submit your island tour or your island for me to tour and it doesn't necessarily fit with this theme, that's okay. When we get to the month of November, I will be returning to touring all island themes. So if you've already submitted I have got your, uh, I have got your submission and I'm saving it and I will be checking it out when we get back in November. So don't worry guys who have other themes. I've got you. We will be checking them out very, very shortly. But again, thank you everyone for coming on this tour with me. Thank you, Matilda, for allowing us to check out your incredible island struggling with Nature core no you have killed it absolutely killed it but this has been a joy so guys wherever you are in this amazing world thank you so much for joining us have a wonderful rest of your day keep on being inspirational and until next time guys <laughs> bye bye <laughs>